Furman friends. How the heck are you? Welcome back to Middleburg. We are just taking the international grain truck here down to the field where I had the combine where we left off and I'm going to finish this field and we're going to take all this barley up to the, uh, the grain mill and we will have rolled barley produced for our little uh, distillery in the woods, as you say. Anyways, good to see you. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Thank you very much for um, all the fine and all sending comments in the last one. Ah, uh, Sophie and I are having fun. Sophie's down and working. She is still working at the pub today. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of, well, can I drive in there? I feel like I just drive, just drive right in there, couldn't I? I could drive right in there. Just volunteer corn. Oh, that's just annoying the crap out of me. That's annoying the crap out of me. But we'll get this field done, and then I'll um, get the uh, New Holland, uh, we'll turn that off, get the New Holland fired up, and we can get the plow in here, and we can get this field. Just sit to me. I tell you what, you mentioned her name. She, uh, she got a hold of me. So... We are good to go in that department. She is on her way, so we'll have some um, fancy uh, agronomist field work done. Let's see, part that puppy up. I feel like I could just back up here and uh, we could unload that. Oh, didn't start. Oh, there it goes. Holy crap. Um, must have turned off on me there. So we will un put the uh, unloading auger out and we will unload this. I don't know how many... Uh, I don't know what my yield is, man. I don't know what my Oh, look at that. That's kind of fancy. Oh, not on the ground, man. Not on the ground in the truck for crying out loud. Holy buckets, Batman. Anyways, so yeah. So we're just going to finish up this barley field. And then I'll probably, uh, well, let's just step out here. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to have it just sit to take a look at it and see what it, uh, what she needs and what it says. I feel like I could look at the GPS mapping there. That fancy technology, I still, I still don't get it. I should have gone to school. For um, all that fancy, uh, there's a name for it. What the heck is a name for it? All that um, that high tech farming stuff going on. I can't. There's a name. I think you actually go get a degree just in that. But. Nope. Anyways, we'll continue on with this. I'm putting straw down, so I will have to buy a baler. I have to get some kind of a baler going on there. I don't know. Um, I, I still haven't kind of figured out. I, I, I got to talk to Sophie. And we got to figure out what we're going to do if we're going to um, do some egg financing or if we're just going to keep going. The other option we have, like I said, is to uh, start shipping our uh, our whiskey and our corn whiskey out. We we could we could do that as well, but like I said, I, I want I want to um, keep that to myself. You know, I, I don't want anybody else uh, branding my fancy dancy uh, in the woods distillery whiskey. So. We'll kind of go from there. I um, have been notified that a lot of people are willing to be taste testers. Yep. There's this guy down there in Georgia named Trout Patty. He says, hey, ship me some. I'll test it out for you. And then that fancy uh, Canadian Zeke there, he, he, wants to, he wants to take some too. But I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. But in the meantime, this beautiful August day, I'm telling you what, just a beautiful day here in New York. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. I should go down to that Prattsville Reservoir and catch a walleye, though. That's one thing I miss about not being back in my home state of Minnesota is um, all the um, awesome walleye fishing. But if I could do some here, that would be pretty good, even though I hate fishing. I, it's, 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 it's a conundrum, isn't it? You hate fishing, but yet you feel like you should go fishing. I don't know. I don't know. Put some canned water on a boat. That's my kind of day. That's my kind of day. If I catch a fish, I do. If I don't, I don't. But it's one of those things. So, in the meantime, we're just going to finish this field up. I probably, hopefully, uh, have more than one truckload. My hopper's filling up there pretty good, so hopefully I do have more than one, one truckload, and we can get that down to the uh, grain mill, and we can get our uh, rolled barley production underway. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, and that'll help us feed our distillery. And then, then the next thing to do would be when the uh, corn is ready over there on field 7, we can, uh, just on the other side of those trees, we can um, get that done and get uh, cracked corn produce out of that too for our distillery. The two ingredients that we need along with water. Water. I have water plumbed in, so that works out pretty good. And then uh, maybe later tonight we can go down to the distillery and see how that goes. The other thing I want to do is I want to build a little garage. I want to build a little garage. There's a um, John Deere zero turn mower that uh, the local guy has for sale, but I'm thinking if I go down to the sawmill and I buy some lumber, I can build myself a little garage and get that lawnmower. Sophie likes the yard nice and manicured, you know? Kind of one of those things. Yeah, she's she's just uh, picky about the yard. So I could get that done as well. That'd be later later today. It's not gonna take me too long to get this uh, barley field done. Uh, the, yield, the yield is pretty good. We, we, work, we work hard on this field, but without just it to be here, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for what to do. I wonder if I can make it around one more time. 
We'll try to make it around one more time. My hopper is filling up there pretty good, though. In this John Deere 7700. What a nice combine this is. Ah, absolutely beautiful. Now, the other thing I got to think about, too, is once I get this baler situation figured out, if I'm just going to rent one down at the uh, dealership or if I'm going to buy one or what I'm going to do is um, where we're going to put our bales in. That's the other thing to think about, too. Where are we going to put our barley bales or straw bales? So we'll have to figure that out as well. But I'll carry on here, my wayward son, and um, I'll get this field done, and we'll get the barley down to the meal, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But thanks for stopping today. I really appreciate it, my friends. Cheers. Hell, I come 40,000 miles over here to see what them pretty little lips gonna do to me. Every single time that I come around and seen you got another man trying to keep you down with. Well, you might think you're driving me insane, but I made the game that you're trying to play. You know, I think you maybe ought to know this ain't my first rodeo. combine here is uh, not quite full yet but we're going to stop here at this end we will uh, lift up the header let, let the uh, straw go out the back and we'll take the truck into the uh, the grain mill and we'll drop it off there and then come back and finish this field up i don't know if i can finish it up on one more truckload but uh, we'll see i should actually look into getting a um, a, a trailer for this truck maybe or something like that that would be uh, i wonder if i can put a trailer on the back of this truck that, that would that would work. That'd be kind of slick. Yeah, we'll just hit that there. Yep, truck is full. Um, we'll leave that thing run there. I don't want to let it uh, cool down here. But let's hop into our old international truck, and we'll hit the road jack and um, take this in. Oh, look at that. Vol volunteer court just drives me up a wall. Anyway, so we'll take this down to the grain mill. They charge us a little bit. But then, oh, don't drive in the field there, man. What the heck are you doing there, buddy? And they'll um, turn it into rolled barley for us, and then we can pick it up on pallets, and we'll be good to go. So, oh, ooh, boy, the steering on this thing is kind of loose there. Holy buckets. Ah, a little bit of a trek into town. A little bit of a trek into town. Down our dirt road to the highway. We take a left and head into town, and we'll stop at the, uh, the grain mill. They're expecting us. I called ahead and said, hey, I'm bringing in some barley today. Hey, you, you do that. We'll be, we'll be waiting for you. So that's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff. Holy crap there, I'm going uh, 200, no, uh, 120 miles an hour. Holy buckets. This truck moves down to 80 there on the dirt road. That's, that's a little fast. That's a little fast. Oh, 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 easy. Easy, we don't want to roll the truck. That would be good. How would I explain that to Sophie? Sophie, uh, I rolled the uh, grain truck on the road. Yeah, she would probably find a weeder and get the heck out of here. That's what I'm saying. But it is what it is. Come on, baby. All right, we'll bring it on the back into the rolled barley dump pit. Cracked corn is uh, coming up here next. Let's see, cracked corn is in there. Rolled barley is over here. So we'll go over here and we'll jump off this, um, this barley. 
and it'll be good to go. Rolled Marley Production. Pig food over there. I, that's why I want to get into the beets. I could do some beet pulp and make some pig production. I don't I don't have any pigs, but uh, nothing wrong with having some bacon on the farm. Bacon on the farm is good. Whoa, come on. Dump the rest of it out there. There we go. There we go. Now we're off like a herd of turtles. We'll get back to the farm, and we'll just, uh, you know what? I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I'll just keep uh, working on that field. We'll get that field done. And I'll be ready to go in that department. Yeah, we don't have anything. So when we get our uh, cracked corn and our old barley, they're going to come over here for the customer pickup, and they'll let me know when they have some ready. And we can come down and pick it up. But um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get back up to the farm. I'll get that field done, and we'll get another load brought back down here. Hopefully um, hopefully more than one. Did you see that uh, Prius driving butthole? Did you see that guy almost uh, turn right in front of me? Yeah, I almost damaged the uh, Fine and Elsie International truck. That's not good. I don't like that. I don't like Prius driving buttholes. No, no, this ain't my first rodeo. Hell, I've been around long enough to know that there's some things you can't take back. Some things you just got to let go. Well, there's some things you can't take back. Lord, some things you just got to That is the end. It's This is the end of the field. The truck is full. I got a little bit of extra barley here in the hopper of the combine. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drive back up to the farm, and I'm going to put this little extra barley into our silo, and I can use some to feed the chickens too with it a little bit. Holy crap. I did, I did buy a truckload of wheat, so I do have some wheat for the chickens in our silo, but... I might as well just keep this here and help feed the chickens. So our chicken drop only holds about 750 liters of feed at a time. So it doesn't take too much to get that chicken chicken trough full. But we'll just save this in the meantime. I got to drive the combine back up here anyways. So we're good to go in that department. I, I am going to check uh, with some local farmers to see if they have any work for me to be done. Um, I can do some contract work with my combine. If there's some harvesting to do, I can do that. Um, and kind of go from there. The other thing, I, I, I talked to a local farmer that's got an older uh, John Deere baler and bail wagon for sale. So I'm looking at about 30000 bucks he wants for the baler and the wagon, and I, I certainly don't have that money on hand right now at the moment. But that would be kind of slick. That would be kind of slick. So 30000 bucks, you know, there I do have the options. I have some options, but uh, I'm going to talk to Sophie later today and see what she thinks what we should do if we should uh, borrow some money to buy that baler and bale wagon or not i don't know i don't know i do not know i do not know i need a few other things too so we're gonna need some money you know last year when we were doing the planting and the harvesting we, we leased a lot of equipment and then of course we bought some over the at the auctions over the year but we just kind of kind of milked by but now i'm thinking you know the bar the bar is doing good men's bar and grill is doing good and the farming thing is doing so far so good. So if we can um, expand our operation a little bit, we should have some more money coming in. But we'll just dump this into our pit, and I'll start the augers and put it up into the bin. Uh, it's a nice thing about having a pit. I, we do have a bin over there, you see, but I don't have any um, augers to... Uh, i got to buy augers. I, I can't fill it up. I don't, I don't have any uh, augers. So that's another thing on the list to buy. So I'm wondering what I should do. I should probably... Um, let's see. We can... Uh, Put that back. Let's see the header. I might as well just um, stick back here on the trailer. Well, um, yeah, because if I if I do some contract work and it's a, it's a ways away, I don't want to drive. Well, I probably could drive with the header on there. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Um, yeah, I'll put it on the trailer. I was gonna say I could just leave it on the combine and then we could uh, do some checking here, but. Yeah, we'll just stick it on the trailer. That way it's done with. There. That's ah, pretty good. Let's see. I'll back this puppy up uh, without hitting my other tractor. I suppose I'll use the 4840 to go and get uh, a baler if we can somehow snaggle that one. 
We'll do that. Jacinta B is on her way, so she'll take a look at that field and let me know what we should do with it this um, late summer into the spring here. And uh, we should put some um, lime down on it. I should probably wash this thing, but I'm hoping I'm going to use it. I'm hoping to get some contract work done. Um, either in the combine or the tractor. You know, either one. I'm not partial. That's ah, cooled down enough. Okay. So, that's that. Barley field is done. Sophie would be so proud of me. Well, I'm going to walk down. I'm going to get the truck. I'm going to go up. I'm going to drop off the second load up at the, uh, the grain mill. So, I'll do that. And then I'll probably swing by the pub and talk to Sophie and see what she thinks about uh, the baler option, what we should do. I suppose, you know, we do have 713 bucks in the bank. I could lease a baler maybe with that. Oh, maybe it would cost me a little bit more. I don't know. But that one for sale just seems like a pretty good deal, I'm thinking. So, uh, I'll let you know what I decide. All right. Not too bad. Um, I brought the truck over to a field um, 64 and 65. A local farmer, Isaac Ewing, he um, is getting a little behind and has a canola field and an oat field for me to harvest. So I got the header back on the combine, the 7700. So looking at the list, yep, Isaac Ewing here, 64 and 65. 9200 for the one and 5900 for the other one is posted on the contract board. So yeah. I'm going to take both of those. Yep, we'll take both of those, and uh, I'm going to head down there, and we'll do some uh, contract work with that. That'll, that'll be about 15000 bucks in the bank, so that's not bad. That's a good start. It's about uh, 1130 in the afternoon here, the sixth day of August. Beautiful day. Wind is just a slight breeze looking at the uh, stars and stripes there, the flight pole. So I'm going to head down there, and we'll um, we'll start doing some contract work. Like I said, I got the truck down there already. Sophie was able to step away from the pub for a little bit and came and gave me a ride back up to the farm. Um, I don't know. If she, if she if the, When the night crew comes in and she can leave, then uh, she'll probably come in and give me a hand here for a bit. Cruising on down the dirt road. Isn't there a song? So, did Sawyer Brown sing a song, Dirt Road, Dirt Road? Or is that uh, Dirt Road Anthem by jason aldean i don't know I, I i i listen to country music down then but i i don't know you know singers and songs i was i i was back in the old school country you know but anyways that's uh, my thought of the day i should have the radio the radio i don't have a radio in here that just sucks it's kind of boring i got my cell phone though and i got my uh my earbuds so i can just uh, watch youtube videos and uh, kind of go from there but uh, it's been pretty quiet on the youtube front lately so, anyways, we'll do a couple contracts. That's not that's not bad. I mean, you know, I don't really have anything else on the farm that is uh, pressing to do at the moment. I'm going to wait until Jacinta B looks at field uh, five there and tells me what I should do because that would be that would, that would be another expense that I have to get. I last last year I had it uh, custom spread, you know, fertilized and sprayed and everything like that. So I, I just finally got this fertilizer spreader, but I don't have any way to spread lime. I had that lime hauled in. You could buy lime down at Fox Farm, so if I had a spreader, I could buy uh, I could buy some lime. But like I said, that's 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 money. You know, it, everything takes money, isn't it? Kind of yeah, everything takes money with inflation so sky high. Holy crap, it's tough. You know, um, there's a reason why uh, Sleepy's approval numbers are 39 percent. Man, I'm telling you what, people can't even buy baby formula these days. How sad is it that we can't? You can't even buy baby formula to feed the babies. I'm telling you. And I heard one politician. All they said was, "We're well, just very breastfeeding." Okay, idiot. You're a moron. I'm telling you. They should just all quit. Yep. They should all be fired. What other job in the world besides a meteorologist can you constantly be wrong and screw around all the time and still have a job? I'm telling you. Politicians and meteorologists. Anyways, enough said. Um, combine's running good. Combine is running darn good, I'm telling you. So we're going to go down here to the highway. we got to take a right, and then we'll take a left, and then we got to go down another dirt road through some water. So hopefully the water is not that deep that we can, oh, we'll be able to get through there in the combine. I got through there in the truck. But I'm telling you what, if it started raining, holy buckets, that, that, that road floods. That road floods. Get your kayak out and uh, do a little um, road kayaking. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's got to be getting close to noon now. Man, I should have packed a bacon sandwich. Well, I'll have Sophie uh, bring me down some... Maybe, uh, you know, a guy... A guy should really start doing some DoorDash. I could I could call down to the pub. I could have Sophie make me a couple bacon sandwiches and then get a guy from DoorDash to uh, deliver them to me in the field. That would be a perfect... You know, I had a friend... This is not a true story. Back when I was in high school, I had a friend who... Um, I lived on a lake, growing up on a lake. And I had a friend who started a pizza parlor yep pizza parlor and then what he did is he made big money by uh delivering pizzas out to people in the water on the boat yeah he had a little pontoon thing there you know 
got a bunch of pizzas. Oh, wow, it was a, it was a big thing. Now he's, uh, oh, man, now he's uh, Rhombus Guys is the name of it. And I'm telling you, now he uh, has got, like, three different pizza places, and they got a, they got a, their own brewery. Oh, I'm telling you, big bucks. But a brilliant idea. All it started from was a uh, pizza delivery uh, service on the water. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okie dokie. Time to get some uh, contract work done for Isaac. Uh, and then Isaac said that this oat field, I can keep the straw. So that's not too bad. That's not too shabby. If I can do the contract and keep the straw, hey, more power to me. Let's see. We got to turn uh, left here. We'll go down this way. Kind of getting used to, you know, the other cool thing about doing all these contracts is you kind of get used to the, uh, the layout of the land. Yeah, big farm, big farming operation here. I think they do, um, I think they have a winery. Is that a wine? No, they have a, they have olive oil business. An olive oil, custom olive oil production on this farm. Yeah, they, they've got a lot of olive, olive branches. Yeah, you'll see here on the right here, just all kinds of olives. Yeah, they're big bucks. They're big, 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 big buck farmers. Big buck farmers, kind of a young couple too, matter of fact. Uh, yeah, there's all their olive trees and they're holy man. When they when they do the olive harvest, it's fun to watch. Those little um, olive harvesters and they they got they got wagons and all all kinds of good stuff. Yep, that's right there. Ooh, big bucks. I'm gonna turn here. We're gonna go down this dirt road, and uh, hopefully, oh yeah, fences I can fit through here. Oh, I never thought about that. I never measured this fence. Oh, perfect fit. I tell you what, if I had a bigger header, I couldn't do that. If I had a bigger header. That's, that's why, you know, size doesn't matter sometimes. Size doesn't matter. It's it's how you it's how you uh, wiggle it. I think I said the last time, didn't I? I don't know. I don't know. But you got to go through the little water here, and then um, we'll get going. We'll get some contract work done on the farm. Yeah, 15000 bucks, And plus, I can keep the straw, so I can have the heck of a deal. Oh, crap. Look at that. Oh, it's getting a little deeper. I got the truck through here, though, but, oh, man. Oh. Oh, it's get, oh, getting muddy, too. Oh, come on, combine. You can do it. A little two-wheel drive combine going through the water here. Oh, holy crap, it is getting deeper. Oh, it's getting deeper. They should get some drainage in here. Holy crap. Uh, no problem for the John Deere 7700. No problem whatsoever. Okay, so here's the field. I got the truck there. Oh, a little bumpy, a little bumpy there. Let's see. I'll put the auger out. I should be able to make it one way around here. I should be able to make it one way around. Um, so this is, uh, make sure I'm doing this right. I don't want to combine somebody else's field. Oh yeah, so this is the canola field here. And then the oat field, um, so I do canola, I could do canola first. I could wrap this up. And then I think the oat, holy crap, look at that. Look at how fast I'm running there. I, I've been working out on the treadmill. Holy buckets, look at that. Yeah, this is the oat field that I have to do. So this one and that one are both Isaacs. Um, yeah, I'll just wrap up the canola one here real quick. So this canola field, I'm going to harvest it, and we're going to haul it into Central Grain. That's the same place where I was just dropping off my uh, barley. So we'll combine this canola field and haul it into Central Grain, and then we can get to a wire the money for the contractor. I, he'll probably just drive by here and give me a check or something and get that deposited in the old bongo and have some money there. So that would be about halfway to the uh, Baylor bail wagon purchase. Unless I can finagle the guy to come down a little bit. I could do that. I'm a pretty good finagler. I, I can finagle. I've, I've seen me do it. So we can do, do that, or we could um, go and get some money from the uh, egg finance. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn on that. I'm torn on it. You know, right now, we, we don't owe any money. We don't, well, we'll have a little bit of a bill from Central Grain for our barley production. So we'll have some of that. I gotta buy fuel here shortly, so we'll have some uh, expenses and fuel. So, I mean, expenses are coming up. No question about it. It's, it things are gonna be expensive, especially when I start buying um, fuel for the tractors with all the field work we're gonna do. And, you know, then when Jacinta B comes back and says I gotta put lime down and fertilizer, I mean, that's gonna be an expensive little, little journey there too. So we're gonna have to make the best of it. We will just have to make the best of it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Just make the best of it. So, we'll see how this goes, but I'll just keep carrying on with this, and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, what I'll probably do here is I'll probably finish this canola field. I'll, I'll do this contract for Isaac, and then next time we pick up, I'll probably be across the road, and we'll do that barley, um, barley contract over there. I gotta look to see where he wants that barley hauled into. Maybe Central Green, too. Maybe he does all of his business there. I don't know. Unless he's doing some kind of production. I have no idea. Unless he sold something to the bakery, or I don't know. But I'll have to ask him and figure that out where that one goes. But this one I know, Central Grain, Canola, we'll do it. This is a bigger field than I thought it was going to be. 
A little 7700 is going to get a workout on this one. Yes, it is. He got some, uh, oh, he's got some weeds growing in his canola. He didn't take care of it real well. Yeah, I thought Isaac was a pretty good farmer, too, but uh, it is what it is. Yep, uh, just uh, approaching 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so I have got a busy afternoon into the late evening here to get these two fields done, but uh, we'll do that. I'll finish this one up, and the next time I see it, I'll be uh, starting on the uh, barley over there, and like I said, we can keep the straw from that, so that's why the uh, buying a baler is, um, is real important at this time of the day. Oh, I'm going to look here. Oh, thank you very much for saving so conveniently. I was just curious about the weather. I was, holy crap, are you saving a long time? Um, wait, no, where's the weather? Where's the weather? So today, it's going to be sunny. Holy crap. It's going to start raining now here in September. It's going to start raining. Holy crap, look at that. September, October, November, December, January, February, March. <laughs> Apparently, it's going to rain or snow all the way through next April. So, <laughs> oh crap. Uh, I better get some stuff done. I better get some stuff done. Uh, all right, you can combine corn in the snow. I mean, that's that's a pretty cool thing now that you could eat. You know, your corn doesn't wither and die in the fall. Heck, I've even seen me combine corn the fall in the next year. Yep, I've seen me do it. So I'm glad they added that feature in there, but because uh, I was just a little, a little crappy. But anyways, um, we'll leave it there for today. Thanks for stopping in. I sincerely appreciate that, my friends. Uh, it's very kind of you to stop in and say hi, and uh, yeah, drop a like too. Appreciate that. But um, yeah, from Middleburg. I will see you uh, next time in an old field. All right. Take care, my friends. Have a great day. Be safe. Stay healthy. And keep them between the ditches. So long. <laughs>